Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, before I get in into it, I just want to give a massive thank you to all of you who have subscribed and been supporting the videos. I greatly appreciate it. The, the amount of support I've been getting recently is crazy. So I thought I'd make a 1,000 subscriber special. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to share my, show you guys my entire history with this game. Uh, I think I started in like 1.8. And then I'm going to go all the way to 2.1. And then, yeah, we'll just I'll just show you guys my entire history with this game. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. I believe the first time I ever touched this game was in 1.8, which launched in August of 2014. So I, so I would have been eight years old at this time, which is insane. This update introduced the new ROP top level hexagon force and added other features such as the dual portal, slopes, two player levels, and many new colors for the creators to use. Now at this point in time I was never serious about the game, it was just a mobile game that I played for fun after school or during my free time. I did beat some of the main levels though such as Stereo Madness, Back on Track, and Polargeist. But this was pretty much my extent, the extent of my GD career in pre 1.9. Now this is where I started to get somewhat serious about the game. In November of 2014, the 1.9 update came along. They added two new levels, Blast Processing and Theory, Theory of Everything 2, both of which featured the new Wave game mode. With newfound motivation, I decided to beat more of the ROP top levels and collect coins throughout them so I could unlock the Demon levels, Club Step, and Theory of Everything. Before I knew it, the only two ROP top levels that I haven't completed were the two Demons. After thousands of attempts and days of non-stop grinding, I managed to beat Clubstep. This was considered an incredible achievement at the time, and I was very happy with myself. After this, I didn't have as much trouble with Theory of Everything 2, since Clubstep got me much better at the game. After this, I realized that there was more to the game than just the default levels. This was when I found the Online Levels tab. It was amazing to me that people could make their own levels and upload them to the servers. The first rated levels that I remember doing were the Neptune V2 levels, like Stereo Madness V2, Back on Track V2, and pretty much all the V2 levels that weren't demons. I did a few easy demons in this time, like the Nightmare and the Lightning Road, but it wasn't until 2.0 where I'd become much more involved in the GD community and put in time and dedication to beat hard levels. Now this was probably my favorite time in Geometry Dash history. The 2.0 update lasted from August of 2015 all the way to January of 2017, which was easily the largest amount of time between updates that the game had ever seen. Tons of memorable things happened for me in this time frame. First off, this is when I found Eric Van Wilderman's YouTube channel. He's my biggest inspiration to play this game, and I probably still wouldn't be playing today if it weren't for him. This was also when I grinded thousands of attempts to beat the new demon level that was added, Deadlocked. I don't exactly remember if it was 2015 or 2016, but all I remember was that it was pre-2.1, and I also remember my massive reaction when I beat it. Beating Deadlocked made me realize that I had potential, and I decided to start challenging myself. By watching EVW's videos, I had challenged myself to beat the levels that he beat, examples being Death Moon, The Robotic Rush, Plop Problematic, and a few more. I was still not at a super high skill level, so I didn't beat anything too insane during this update. I believe my hardest demon in 2.0 was either Electrodynamics version 2 or Clubset version 2. Before the end of 2.0, I think I had about 30 demons completed, but all, almost all of them were easy or medium demons. But the 2.1 update would prove to be the biggest and longest update that this game has ever seen. And this is the update where literally over half of Geometry Dash's existence has been in. This update is over a year longer than all the updates from 1.0 to 2.0 combined. This is also the point in time where I like really started to get into the game. Keep in mind I've only been playing on computers since June of last year, so I was still playing on mobile for the majority of this update. I believe I actually made my current Geometry Dash account at the very beginning of this update, sometime in January of 2017. Prior to this, I've been on a few different accounts. This is when I actually began to keep records of my achievements and level completions. On my account posts, you can actually see comments from over four years ago talking about demons that I beat or demons that I planned on beating. Some of my best achievements in this update before switching to computer were Hyperspace by Laser Blitz, Chaotic Hell by Mr. Saturns, 
Nine Circles by Zobros, and quite a few more. I also made significant progress on certain levels, like getting 73% on Rupture, 66% on Edo, and 37% on the Ultimate Phase, which is an extreme demon. You can see these videos on my old channel, which I'll leave the link to the description. Then, in June of 2020, I got the computer that I currently play Geometry Dash on. This is the computer that I've beaten my biggest achievements on, such as Quest for Perfection, Poltergeist, Necropolis, and more. My skill didn't increase to this level until February of 2021, which is when I got back to the game. I took a long break from the game between 2018 and 2020. Then in April, I decided to start posting Geometry Dash videos on my channel. I even changed my username to KingVinceGD, and I even changed my profile picture and my channel banner to Geometry Dash. Ever since then, I've been posting Geometry Dash videos on this channel, whether it's level completions, progress videos, or content. I really enjoy making Geometry Dash videos, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon.